MFA is great until it's in the way. I'm gonna show you how to make a user account that bypasses the MFA process. You're gonna need them in Power Automate for your service accounts, and the same is true for Azure DevOps where you occasionally need them for some advanced operations. My name's Sean, this outfit makes me uncomfortable, and I'll explain why at the end. Let's jump in. Here's why this is confusing. I'm inside of Entra, and if I come over here to per user MFA and click that, you will see that it's enabled for some people and then disabled for others, but that's not really true. Like this student user account. If I go to portal.office and I try to log in as them and I enter their password, if MFA is disabled, I should be able to just hop on in. But and now MFA is in the way. What you need to do is go into the conditional access security default, and the default is MFA is in your org everywhere. Doesn't matter what's shown here. So what you want to do is go here and disable it. Now be careful. As soon as you do this, you're opening up your organization to security vulnerability. You should set up conditional access policies, or at the very least, cherry pick these users and enable MFA for them. Click save, accept the responsibility. Now I'm gonna make a, now inside of Entra, I'm gonna make a new user. I'm calling them no MFA at all and click review and create, click create. Now, if I click into this user and I scroll to the bottom under authentication methods, you'll see they don't have any. But if you have a different account that you want to use as your new service account and remove MFA, you're gonna have to remove their authentication and potentially require them to re-register. Special thanks to Parvez Gumra for originally showing me this technique. He's also one of our trainers in our solution architecture program. Definitely follow him for anything ALM. And big thanks to Ben Gibson, who wrote this really detailed article on everything. Link to that below. So now if all worked out, I'm going to open a new session called No MFA at All with the email I just made. Click Next, enter their password, and No MFA. It prompts me to just update the password. And boom, I'm in. And in case it's not obvious, you will have to assign this user a Power Apps license. Honestly, I'm a little uncomfortable with how convincing of an airport border control officer I look like. Watch this. What's your business in Canada? Where do you plan to stay? How long do you plan to stay? What do you plan to long? That last question is legit to ponder before you go on a trip. 